Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Souls 3 Let's Play. Um, hope you're all doing well. So today we're going to be venturing deeper into the uh, this area below me. Um, it's called the Undead Settlement. But before I do, there's one thing I kind of missed on my last uh, on my last uh, episode, which is to I got a key. Let me show you where the key is. Um, there. So I got a key, a cell key, which uh, I can use to free an NPC. Um, so it's a quest NPC, I can talk to him and then do some stuff for him, get some item in return. I'll do that before I go any further into the, uh, the settlement down below. Alright. Let's do this way first. Kill the knight. Oh, uh, okay. Alright, shield, brother. Shield, shield, shield. Can I rescue him? Oops, I can't. Kick him. Kick him. Jesus, this guy is like fucking tough. Go down here. Heal myself a little bit. Do a jump attack. Dead. That's a kick. Uh, the the cell in question is down below. Here. Backstab him. Do a jump attack. And him. Can I open this gate? No. I need to get another key. There's another cell key somewhere else. Well, I can get later. Nope! No, you don't. He's gonna throw that firebomb at those exploding barrels. Gonna light up the whole area. I don't want that. Um, I have 10,000 souls. Well, this is the uh, cell in question. I can open it with the cell key and talk to this NPC. Let's see what he has to say. Ah, you no jailer, are you? No, no, you're from far away. And judging by the bell, you must be some of that unkindled ash. Remarkable. If that's true, then I have a favor to ask. Below the high wall is a musty little town. Not the home of any lord, just a, a very old settlement of undead. An old woman, Loretta, lives there. Please, give her this ring. I, I, I'm not asking for charity. In, fa in fact, if you do this for me, I'll be sure to repay you in kind. I may be a petty thief, but I've more wits than most royalty. What do you say then? Huh? Okay, I'll help you out. Right, Very well. I humbly place my faith in you. I am Grey Rat of the Undead Settlement, and I promise to assist you. Give this ring to old Loretta at the base of the high wall. Do your part and. I'll do mine. Uh, I got a blue tearstone ring, and this guy here, he vanished. He went back to the Firelink Shrine, uh, where I can talk to him some more to uh, complete the quest line if I want to, or just talk to him in general. I can do that later. Uh, so that was the uh, one of the things I needed to do here. The other thing, the other thing is that there's a dragon up above. That's being like spewing fire at this entire area. Well, the area in front of him. But behind him lies a door. So if I can somehow dodge his fire attacks or at least like brute force my way behind the door where he's guarding, I will be able to get some cool items. So 
um, I might do that. Guy, repulse. But the one where I have to go is up above me. Oh, sorry. Yep, I managed to. <laughs> I managed to brute force my way into this. Yeah, I head into this room here. Um, all right, cool, cool, cool. So now there is something that needs to happen. I'm gonna open this uh, door above me. That's gonna open the shortcut to this room without having to like brute force my way uh, into the dragon breath fire attack. All right, so this thing, liar ahead. Close range battle required ahead. So this one here, this one is not a chest. This one is in fact, <laughs> this one is a mimic. Um, so I'm gonna, let me see if I have some. Uh, brace the sun, are you ready? Like a dream. Don't give up. Nothing here. Concept. Mimicry. If I see the word mimicry, I might use that. Sacrifice. Nothing of that sort here. Attribute. Nah, nothing like that here as well. Body part. Nope. Orientation, geography, um, ladder, and support. No actions. Hmm. What about ladders? Jumping off. Mimicry. There's the one. Mimicry ahead. Therefore, uh, try attacking. That's gonna be my message. Mimicry ahead, therefore, try attacking. So this is a mimic, and you can tell if it's a mimic by looking at the direction of the chain. If it's facing towards me, it's the end of the chain, that's a mimic. If it's facing away from me to the other way, then it's a real chest. So uh, I'm gonna be hitting this guy. Okay. Need to be careful. And he's dead. He's gonna drop some item. Well, a item for me. Uh, deep battle axe. Uh, let's read the description for what that is. Um, easily wielded axe crafted for battle and inflicting standard damage. It, its weight can be used to inflict high damage, but must be used carefully as it leaves its wielder open to retaliation. So the skill is Warcry, there are a spirited Warcry that temporarily boosts. I can actually use that. Let me use that for a while. 
with the axe. Because I have enough strength to wield it um, without fumbling all around the ground. Alright, so this area here is pretty much done. There are some items and this dragon I can kill, but I'll do it later. Uh, because uh, I need some heavy weapons to kill this guy, this dragon here. Which I don't have. Also, let me also uh, travel back to Firing Shrine. Because I need to level up, first thing. I need to interact with some of the NPCs, talk to them to see, you know, their lores, if they have anything to say or not, just in general. Um, so let me first, before I level up, let me just uh, upgrade my my battle axe maybe? Let's see what uh, damage it does. Um, 96. Oh wait, I was supposed to, no, uh, no, no, no. I was supposed to use this though, Astora Straight Sword, so I'm gonna use that. I need like uh, 12 faith, so let me just upgrade my uh, level, well, upgrade my faith. It's currently 9, I wanna upgrade to 12. Speak thine heart's desire. So I'm gonna level up. Very well, then touch take now. Skip the dialogues, uh, it's oh, 7? Oh no. <laughs> Only se oh, so sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, <laughs> that's luck. My luck is seven. That's the one with fate. So I have fate from nine to now twelve. Done. Uh, can I talk to her? Ashen one, to be soft. Okay, so, Ashen one. All right, I already talked to her about that. Farewell, She's repeating Ashen her dialogues. Uh, one cool thing about one cool thing about uh, Dark Souls Three, especially with this maiden here. If I use any gesture, she's going to gesture back to me uh, with similar response. So let's say I use bow, she's gonna bow back to me. Look at this. Very cool, right? It's very cool. Um, also, let's try this. See? Uh, <laughs> um, uh, she has a, like uh, some different gestures as well. <laughs> See, she's like uh, smiling uh, with my weird gestures. But yeah, that's really cool that you know uh, this NPC can do that. Not every NPC can do the same, but she can. Um, let's talk to Andre. Also, let me uh, equip my sword. That's the Astora Straight Sword. It does 129 damage plus 11 bonus. Not bad. Or maybe I can upgrade it. Let's see. Ah, well met. Tis good to see ye in good health, wasn't he? Alright, so let's talk to him first. Weapons and protection are sturdy enough by and large. But when overused, they'll eventually break. When their durability is low, repair becomes a necessity. Use a powder, or simply rest at a bonfire. Cool. But should chance impel them break, bring them me. I'll hammer them back into shape. They take no pleasure in breaking, I assure ye. So handle them with care, if you would. Sounds good. There are two ways to smith weapons. Simple reinforcement is one, and infusion the other. Infusion. Reinforcement is straightforward. It strengthens a weapon without altering its property. Infusion is a more advanced form of smithing that infuses an element. Reinforcement requires titanite, and infusion requires gems. Bring the stones, and I'll do the smithing. It's my purpose, after all. In battle, your weapons are your only friends. Forge them well, and they won't let you down. Okay, I got a gesture from them, from uh, talking to him. Uh, hurrah gesture. Ma, another matter. Infusing weapons with gems requires a special kind of coal. My humble coals won't be any use infusing more unusual gems. I know, it's an awful shame, but it's all I have. Oh, please don't give me that look. Believe it or not, I'm quite thin-skinned. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, by the way. If you find any Estus shards, bring them here. 
They can be used to reinforce either of your Estus flasks. Without those flasks, you'd want for life or focus. And they'll always stay with you. Why not treat them well? Sure. <laughs> I already did. I'll give more if I can buy them. Weapons and protect, but when over, when their durability is low, use a powder, but should chance, I'll hammer, they take so. Okay, I kind of exhausted this dialogue, now I can uh, do my thing. Uh, I have six esters, I don't have any shards in my inventory. Do I need to repair anything? Not really. Reinforce my weapon, uh, I can do that. So, I have six. Titanite shards, I can I need two to upgrade this Astora straight sword. Um Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. 129. This sounds like Ushikaranos 115. Uh yeah, I'm gonna uh, Lucerne is uh one third. Okay now I'm gonna go for this. Uh plus one plus two and it's six. Do I have the money for that? I don't think so. Can I buy from him? No, uh, I don't think I can. Alright. Pretty be careful, I don't. <laughs> Alright, so I upgraded my Astora straight sword to plus two. Let's talk to her. Ah, well met, Ashen One. How may I be of service? Well, let's see. I can sell items as well. Ashen One. If my wares are not to thy satisfaction, bring me umbral ash. With ash, I'll fashion new wares. Is it not our sorry fate to sup on death? Um. <laughs> okay. Sup on death. Ashen one, bring. Okay. It... <laughs> now let's see if I can buy something from her. Um, do I have, do you have any titanite shards with you? Uh, I don't think so. Alright, so I might have to, like, harvest titanite shards from somewhere. Ashen One, be sure to bring more souls. Oh. <laughs> okay, fine. Um, venture into the under settlement foot of high wall. So let me go there now. See what's up. Since I'm pretty much done with upgrading and leveling up. For now. For now. Bone wheel shift. Alright. So here we are at the under settlement. We are now going to be going down this place. See what. We got uh, at the top of the tower, you can see some guy shooting some arrows or something. Right there. So we're gonna be uh, encountering him later on. Uh, you'll see what I mean then. Uh, he can be friendly, but uh, anyway, this is gonna be the uh, undead settlement, the entire area you have to uh, journey. And. Uh, <laughs> find some very interesting foes. Let's start by walking down these staircases, meeting these lovely people who are not gonna kill me, but uh, uh, these dogs will. I am just gonna let the dogs handle the business. Sir! Doggy, bad doggo, bad. Um, you're dead. Okay, let's go behind this place. There's gonna be something down here. Two dogs, dead, eating a corpse. I got the alluring skull. Uh, read the description here. I mean, if you uh, know what it is. Uh, it attracts certain types of enemies. A skull resplendent in the scent of souls prepared by evangelists the cathedral of the deep. Throw to scatter, uh, I mean shatter, spreading souls which attract enemies 
not effective for all foes. So it might be used to distract certain type of enemies from attacking you and just going there and you know just being distracted while you can just run on the other direction and escape. Not helpful for everything like you know especially the tougher bosses but for some enemies it works. <laughs> Please grant me death. Undo my shackles. Um, <laughs> so these guys here, they're praying to something. I mean, you talk to him and see what his, uh, what his woe is. Oh. Oh, then it's true. A champion of ash as I live and breathe. To be in your presence is a great honor. Sure. I am Yol of Londor, a pilgrim, as you can see, only... Somehow, I failed to die as was ordained. Well, perhaps my calling lies elsewhere. Okay. Say, Champion of Ash, how does the idea of taking me into your service strike you? I was once a sorcerer. Surely I can be of use. Sure. Oh, I am honored, truly. I should be dead, yet you have granted me purpose anew. I, Yol of Londor, do solemnly swear myself to you. Okay, uh, he also vanished. He's gonna be heading back to the Firelink Shrine. I got the Homeward Bone here, and these guys here were praying to something. If you look down below. There's a dragon, there's a, like a dead dragon. They were probably like worshipping a dragon. I don't, I'm not sure, but uh, whatever. Um, you can see some item down below. That white glow. I'll be able to uh, come to this area later. For now. Uh, I just have to go here. Venture past this bridge. Quite beautiful, right? Like, you know, very... Uh, grandiose, the castle area, bridges, all these carts and all. Uh, looks very nice, very splendid. Okay. Pull the lever, open the gate. Gonna be some enemies. The uh, villagers, I guess? The undead villagers. <laughs> that died horribly. To my sword. Uh, gonna be lighting up this bonfire. Rest. And I will use a summon sign here. Because, uh, new area, right? New area. Want to summon some. Want to help some people. I'm gonna pull this. So this gate is closed and this dogs will follow me. Um, so yeah, gonna summon. Gonna get summoned, hopefully. So that I can get some more souls. Jumping ahead. Beware of ghost. Let's just say liar ahead. <laughs> um, concept. Where is the word liar? Secret, happiness, life, death. Agony, betrayal, despair, fear, light. It's not here though. Um, attribute. Is it object? It's supposed to be liar somewhere, right? Hmm. Oh, I'm being summoned. Nice. Hopefully it's gonna be normal summon and not PvP summon. I don't wanna PvP. Okay. So this is a... Uh... Why? Is he not dying?
Okay. He's summoning another player. Let's see if uh, he can. There we go. <laughs> nice. All right. Three of us. We're gonna take on this uh, whole area. Damage I'm doing, it's not being registered here. But. Oh well. Also, this, as you can see, they're like not noticing me either. Actually no, we shouldn't be going down, going down here bro, we're gonna be going down here. Doing anything here, that's the problem. Is. All the damage I'm doing is kind of being mitigated. Uh, like, the network issue, maybe, on their side? Or, oh my. But I am taking some damage. You know what? I kind of want to bail out. 
Because, like, I'm not doing much damage. I mean, I'm not doing any damage. Whatever damage I'm doing is not being registered by the network here. So I kind of want to uh, ignore it. Uh, maybe summon into someone else's world, yeah, where it's going to be more fruitful. Where my effort's going to be at least acknowledged. Until then, let me just go into my area. Clear up the enemies here. Um, so yeah, this uh, whole area you will be able to explore eventually. Pretty beautiful. Uh, I'm gonna cut this down, get this item. I got a small leather shield for my effort. Kill this guy too. I'll drop down here. This item, charcoal pine bundle. So this is like the, like the way the whole lightning pine resin works, where it buffs your weapon with fire. Uh, I mean lightning. This one does the same, but for uh, with fire. Also, it does like instead of like giving it a massive buff, it's gonna give it like a little small buff for a small amount of time. Um, let me read the description here just to show you this one. So, a small bundle of charcoal pine resin quickly applies fire to right hand weapon. Does not last for long but can be used in inventive ways such as applying it in the middle of a series of blows. So, like when you're in a PvP fight or in a boss fight and you need to do some extra damage to the boss, or the PvP guy in general, your opposition, um, can just use it in the middle of the fight to give it some extra boost in damage. Right? So, that's about it. There we go. Do a backstab. 300 damage. Not too bad. Charcoal pine bundle. Some more. I'll just use one to demonstrate uh, its effectiveness. Okay. So let me do that. But before I do, let me also. Uh, no, 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 not this. Equip some of the fire bombs. Because, like. Uh, you see, the enemies here in front of me, they're standing near some explosive barrels, all of them. So I can, if I wanted to, aim that firebomb just right. A little lower. And there you go. Uh, I got the Loretta's bone. I'll talk about that in a bit. There's some more barrels. There. So I cleared up some of the enemies here before I gonna take the actual fight. But you know, the thinner the horde, the better for me. Um, right. So now then. So. Oh shit. Okay. She's back. No, no, no. So yeah, I kind of buffed my fire, my weapon at fire. And you can see it's doing a lot more damage. One shotting these guys. But the buff already ended, so it's only gonna, gonna last for a very short amount of time. Maybe like 10-15 seconds or so. Damn it. Heal. Okay. Got the soul of an unknown traveler. I am gonna get this. An extra shard so I can use that to upgrade my uh, extra flask capacity. Got an ember as well. Good stuff. I might uh, write a message saying try firebomb. If I have any objects, or maybe like mm, concept attribute, try fire. Uh, no, I kind of. 
delete that. Uh, wanna be pointing at that direction? Try concept. Was it concept? Uh, attribute. Try fire. Pointing it there so that people may get a general idea that you can use a firebomb uh, or any any kind of fire attack on these barrels to explode the barrels and kill the guys there okay time to move on to this side Be before i do more enemies dead the way they make the sound they're like dead and like dead sound when they die <laughs> very hilarious all right out, 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 out. Okay, I'm being summoned again. Cool. Heal myself. and uh, venture <laughs> into this whole thing again, do the whole thing again. Dead. Yeah, see, now I did manage to kill him. Uh, that other guy, it was a network issue, I guess. Where is she? Or he? I kind of lost where the person went. Uh, oh, there. Okay. Come on, then. Yeah. Okay, she's a. Uh, this, this person is kind of new. I guess I'll be helping this person out. hard to communicate with this person when you're like... Yeah. There. <laughs> See, I'm like kind of gunny... Oh no, I'm being invaded! I'm being invaded by actual people here. Shit. Shit. That ruined the fun, kind of.
died. The host died. <laughs> Try to kill him, but didn't work out. All right, I will leave another summon sign. Uh, let me leave a summon sign here because, like, people might need some help getting through to this area. Yeah. All right. Now we're venturing through this. Oh wait. Um, I think I gotta do something else. Um, yeah, I'll uh, figure it out later. All right. Uh, before I go, uh, I'll just end the part here. Uh, I'll continue on in the next part. Until then, see you uh, in the next one then. Bye!